As we continue Spring Flake Week here on PTL, we're talking now about spring cleaning in your kitchen. Yeah, not the counters or the floors, but the cabinets. Specifically, what's inside when you look behind those closed doors? <laughs> Selena Pompiani is in our PTL kitchen to tell us the seven things to get rid of now without a second thought. And I love you're going to make this easy for us, Selena. <laughs> Oh, David and Heather, don't worry. We will make this so easy for you. I have seven things right here in front of me that we brought in that you could purge from the kitchen cabinets. So this is great information from Real Simple Magazine. And honestly, it probably doesn't even take you 10 minutes to declutter what I have right in front of us. So I'm going to start on this end here of the island. How many promotional water bottles do you guys at home? <laughs> yes. Oh, I and I have so a many. cabinet for them too. I have so many and you know what? It's always so nice to, you know, support local businesses and to support events. Like I get a lot of, you know, 5K water bottle mugs and I know you, to get them as well. A lot of people send them into KDKA, which is so nice, but they really take up a lot of space in the cabinets. They got to go. They got to go, she says. Okay. Yeah, maybe keep like one or two, right? Right. Yeah. And you could also donate those, you know. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I do carry my water bottle every day, so keep one or two. That's all okay. you need. The second one right here, and I am so guilty of this. I know my mom wanted to kill me when I moved from my apartment back home because I brought so many extra coffee mugs, oh, like way too many. I know. I, I love them, though. Yeah, I don't even know how many I have, but I just know it's too many. And this is also something because coffee mugs are big with the handle. It takes up so much space in your kitchen cabinet. You don't need 25 coffee mugs. Am I right? Well, no, it depends. what if it's a special <laughs> coffee mug? <laughs> yes, have a few special and that's it. The second one, and I am also <laughs> very guilty of this, especially when we order Chinese takeout. And I know a lot of you probably feel the same exact way that I do. Mismatched containers. This bothers me so much because really you don't need that many containers to store food. Keep a couple of them. Make sure they do match. This one actually does match it. So that's yeah, once the lid doesn't fit, like you can't find the lid to it, right. it's gone. It's gone. Like there's no reason to keep it. Right. I'm not going to put saran wrap over the top. Yes, I agree. No reason to keep it. Another one, and I have a hard time parting ways for some reason with chipped dishes and cups. I don't know why, but not only is it an eyesore, and you're probably never going to use it, especially when you have company over, but it could be dangerous too, you know, if you have little kids in the house. Or, yeah, if you put it in the dishwasher and it breaks in the dishwasher. It, I've had that happen with a chipped cup before. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Or when you're washing the dishes by hand washing. So, Heather, you mentioned yesterday when you were talking about redoing your laundry room. Yes. This one, yes, what were you talking the about? The bread I can't machine even remember that just now. recently broken. It's old, and I thought if I kept it, maybe. It, and I just realized I'm not going to fix it. Yeah. yeah. Well, the same goes for kitchen appliances. So these are small appliances that if you haven't used them within the past one to two years, get rid of them. There is no need to keep these appliances that you don't use anymore in your cabinet. It's taking up space for the new ones that you could have, like the air fryer, for example. <laughs> there you go. Ron yeah. loves his air fryer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're getting close to the end. Number six on the list, expired spices. These need to go, and I am so guilty of this. I bet I have 50 different expired spices at home. <laughs> And it won't harm you, so don't worry. It won't harm you, but they will lose the flavor. So that's a good way to test out if they're expired. Get rid of them. Okay. <laughs> Last but not least, I think everybody is guilty of this one. This is takeout menus. Oh. Mm -hmm. Take yes. out menus and condiments. So this is really like when you get Chinese. Like I get so many of these soy sauce packets and duck sauce, but. There is no need to keep all of these. You're never going to use them. At least I don't. And you can get menus online these days. You can use one of the food apps like Grubhub or Uber Eats. You don't need these paper menus. Get rid of them. You know, I get will say, maybe keep the ketchup packets if the Heinz if company can't get up on the packet deliveries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I also keep, I keep packets of the horsey sauce from Arby's. Oh. That's my weakness. <laughs> and I use them, sauce, though. though David. Yeah, it's good sauce. Hey, these are great tips. Yes. Thank you, Selena. I feel better already.
Now you, now she has to clean up the countertop. Just right. give her one just of these. Push it all right into the trash. All right. Thanks, Selena.